Um, so growing up, uh, my family lived in Fanny Bay, which is um, not far from, well, it's right next to East Point. Um, and the, actually, they lived in Parap, which is next to Fanny Bay. And my aunties and my uncles and all that grew up with the story of the Bumsiana, and then they all passed it down to us. And the idea was that if you went to East Point at night time, um, and especially if you're a man, the Punti animal will come and get you and you'll never be seen again. Um, so us kids used to go down to East Point a lot when we were like 15 or 14, when our cousin, older cousins had a car and we used to go sit there at night and get all scared and stuff like that. But um, the story is, and there's many stories, some people say she's an Aboriginal woman, some people say that she is um, an Asian woman, like could be like Macassan woman or something, um, and that she got um, assaulted or brutally, you know, raped by um, some sailors or by men at East Point, and um, and that you know she she's always there um, to sort of like yeah you know chase away men with bad intentions. Yeah, and like the, the scariest idea about it though was like as a kid, you know, just imagine seeing this this scary woman with hair over her face and long nails just staring at you through the bush and um, yeah, we never really went to the, <laughs> um, you know, East Point much as kids, but when we got teenagers, we definitely sort of wanted to suss it out. Um, there's, there's this tree, the Punciana tree, um, which is there at East Point and it was really freaky because when the mob made Shadow Trackers and I watched the cut of the Shadow Trackers here at NITV, I got a photo from a nana and she went down there the next day and she was standing next to the, that exact Punciana tree that the Punciana story is about, um, Punciana woman story is about. Um, I'm not sure how the tree relates to her, but maybe that's where she died and they named it after her, but definitely it's freaky tree, like they flower beautifully, like they're a beautiful flowering tree, but then they also become like this scary looking tree when all the flowers go away. Um, like the winds blow them all off. But yeah, that, that's my story of the Punciana woman. Hope you liked it.